this channel where we spread love and positive vibes. And today I'm full of joy because I'm sharing about the lad we all love. You know, when I'm sharing about Jamaica, my heart vibrates because uh, I'm going to tell you why soon. But I want to start by thanking our new subscribers, our returning subscribers. Uh, we really appreciate you, we value you, and we really thank you. And we always tell you, we play for you. That may the Lord bless you, may the Lord enlarge you, may the Lord protect you, may the Lord shield you together with your family. We don't take it for granted, guys, that you watch our video. And kindly, if you're watching our video and you have not subscribed to this uh, channel, hit that subscription button. It's free of charge and we're going to appreciate. Today, today, guys, we are talking about Jamaica is a vibe. It's not even a country. <laughs> it's a vibe. And I'm going to tell you why. By the way, you can only experience this vibe by just visiting Jamaica, running on their soil, touching the waters, seeing the wood. You have the tingle. You know that Jamaica is actually a vibe. And not a country and today I want to show you why Jamaica is a vibe and not a country and by the way I've told you that the experience is the only one that can make you feel the vibe in Jamaica and though I have not gone to Jamaica I am experiencing the vibe through learning a lot and a lot and a lot about Jamaica and I've come to realize this country is actually a vibe <laughs> from the people. The way they love music, to the way they love social life, to the way they love welcoming people, to the way they are loving, to the way they are good. I cannot be able to count. But not even the people, because I think I've said that so many times, guys. I want to talk about the many festivals in Jamaica. And these festivals are accompanied by a lot of celebrations, a lot of dancing, a lot of uh, food, a lot of drinks, and people become happy. Because it is a country where you experience positive vibes throughout the year. From the first day in January to the last day in December, Jamaica is a vibe. And we're going to experience this vibe by looking at the many things that makes Jamaica a vibe. Let me start by talking about the festivals that are celebrated in Jamaica. Did you know, guys, that Jamaica celebrates Bob Marley Week in February? This was a great musician, a great legend musician, actually the original, uh, what? The person who started the reggae music and Jamaicans honor him. They celebrate him by having a whole week of celebrations. And the Jamaicans in the house, they can tell us from the first day of this week to the last day of the week, what do you do? Do you play like a music? Do you enjoy the food? Do you play guitar like Bob Marley? Do you sing the songs of Bob Marley? Or what do you do? But I know the week is full of positive vibes. And that is why we are saying Jamaica is a vibe and not a country. Now let us come to the next festival celebrated in Jamaica. Jamaica celebrates the carnival and the carnival is whereby the Jamaicans go to the streets, they dance, they wear their best fashion, they beat drums, they shout, they do everything around the streets of their capital city, Kingston, and they have a good vibe. They celebrate, they marry, they laugh, they enjoy themselves. That is the carnival day in Jamaica. The other festival celebrated in Jamaica uh, that makes Jamaica uh, a vibe country is the Emancipation Day. 
This is the day Jamaicans celebrate when they were freed from slavery. We all know the history of Jamaica. I don't want to repeat it. The Jamaicans at one time, they were slaves of the Spanish people and later slaves of the British people. And therefore, they remember the day they were liberated, the day people fought for their freedom. Mark, Marco, Marcus, Galve, Nana, those great men and women sacrificed themselves and fought for freedom and Jamaica celebrates this day in a big way. And we're going to be told by the Jamaicans in the house, what do you do in this specific day? Do you go to the em emancipation park? Because they have a park that they have created to remember the heroes that actually fought for freedom. So they are going to tell us the tingo. The other day that Jamaica celebrates is the independent day. We all celebrate the independent day. This is the day that we became free from our colonial masters. And this is a great day to all of us. We also celebrate it here in Kenya. And the day is full of the government celebrations, a lot of speech, a lot of dancing, a lot of merry, and I'm sure even in Jamaica, it's a great vibe. So we have the Independence Day, and finally, no, not finally, actually, we have the African Jam Fest. Jamaica is in the house, tell us, what do you do during the African Jam Fest? And the name, since it comes from Africa, do you remember that your origin is from Africa? And I, at this juncture, I want to say thank you so, so much to Jamaicans because they value us. They call us brothers and sisters. They really uh, love us with all their hearts. And they long for the day that they are going to come to Africa, their motherland. And you are very much welcome, by the way. And if you come here and you happen to uh, actually contact us, we are going to welcome you because you have shown us the tingo. The way you welcome people, the way you are warm to people, the way you are friendly to people, the way you are generous people. We cannot forget that, guys. Then the last day the Jamaicans celebrate is the reggae marathon. I don't know whether this is a sports, a, a sports day which is organized for competitions to celebrate the reggae music. Jamaicans in the house are going to tell us. So all these festivals, actually, to crown it all, they show us how Jamaicans are actually a vibe. They are not a country. Their positive vibes is on a higher level. Their celebrations are on a higher level. They love to be happy. They love to dance. They love to have music. They love good food. And we saw that. And I was actually walking, while walking with some of the YouTubers along the streets of Jamaica. And I saw that on the beach, people beat drums and dance and merry and happy and uh, these YouTubers were actually joining them and they were celebrating and are uh, happy and some of them were getting to the ocean, swimming, praying with the water. It is actually a vibe country. You cannot know the tingo unless you go and experience it. And I'm longing the day, guys, the day, the day I will step my foot in the road of Jamaica. I cannot wait. And uh, because God is faithful, it will come. Now, let us look at the historical, great historical vibes in Jamaica. I don't want to repeat about the origin of the people of Jamaica, starting from the Taino, then the Spanish, then the British. I don't want to go to that. I want to touch on what we see on the grounds of the Jamaican streets. There is this bridge that we call the Iron Bridge. This reminds people that they have come from far. They appreciate where they come from. They appreciate how far they have gone in terms of development, in terms of uh, growing. It actually reminds them about the growth that they have over the years. The Iron Bridge is a very, very old bridge connecting the Spanish town, which was the capital city of Jamaica during those, those old days of the Spanish colonial times. It connects the Spanish town and the Kingston, the current capital city.
city of Jamaica. And that bridge, now it's not in use, by the way, because I think it has become weak uh, as the years has gone by, and therefore it is only used for bicycles and maybe pedestrians. But it is there to remind the people of Jamaica where they have come from, where they are going, and where they are right now. The other day, I showed a video talking about Jamaica, the economic powerhouse of the Caribbean. And I didn't joke about it. This bridge uh, is still there to remind the Jamaican people we have come from far and we are going somewhere in the future and the future is bright for us. Then there is the flat bridge. And by the way, the iron bridge most likely was constructed by the slaves. Remember we said in the history of Jamaica, there are some African people who are gotten from West Africa who are taken to Jamaica to be slaves in the plantation, plantations of sugar and coffee. And they used to work for the Spanish people and the British people later. And therefore these uh, slaves also constructed the bridges. We have the Iron Bridge. Actually, what, do, what is it called? Is it the Iron Bridge? People are going to tell us there. So we have that bridge that connects uh, the Spanish town and Kingston. Then we have another bridge. I think it's called the Frat Bridge. This bridge has got some history in it. It was also constructed very, very many years ago. It, has, it is actually one of the oldest bridge in Jamaica. And when I looked at that bridge, I could see that there is no metal work. It is actually concrete that has built that bridge. And there is some history, exciting history about it. Because it is said, the slaves that were constructing that bridge died very many of them. You know, first of all, the slaves were not being given enough food. So they were doing this work being hungry. They were hungry. They were being worked for hours without resting. And of course, you expect them to actually, their body to actually be so weak until many of them could die constructing the bridge. So I was saying, Many of these people died constructing the flat bridge. And therefore the locals believe that uh, because there are so many accidents that happen on this bridge, they believe that the spirits of the people who died haunts the bridge and that is why there are so many accidents. But as, as I was watching that bridge, I could see it is on a very sharp corner. The Jamaicans in the house can tell us that. And therefore it is bound. If the drivers and uh, the people who are using that road are not careful, because the road is even used up to today, imagine guys. So, if they are not careful and there is that sharp corner, it is likely that there could be accidents. And there is a river actually there. So, uh, it needs a lot of uh, care, a lot of uh, driving responsibly, so that the accidents on the front bridge are reduced. And therefore, this history of the flat bridge actually is so enticing, it's so good to hear where the Jamaican's people have come from. From the land of slavery to freedom, freedom to talk, freedom to walk around, freedom to do their work, freedom to express themselves, freedom of worship, it's not in vain. And that is why they have a positive vibes because they are now free. They celebrate their freedom. They celebrate their eman emancipation day. Declaring their freedom. And therefore this bridge is a mark to remind them where they have come from. And guys, what else makes Jamaica to be a positive vibe, a vibe country? The other thing is that I'm not going to mention the beautiful beaches, the beautiful waterfalls, the beautiful forests, the beautiful resorts, the beautiful hotels. There are so many with the beautiful and enticing food, acne and starfish. <laughs> I'm not going to mention that. I'm going to mention a very, very special thing that I came to run about Jamaica. Uh, by the way, I, I forgot to tell you 
This bridge, the flat bridge, is in St. Catherine. You know that Jamaica is divided into parishes, and therefore in St. Catherine is where we find the flat bridge. The one that I was talking about has a sharp corner, and therefore they are, it is prone to accidents. So, I wanted to talk about Sunday, I rant about Jamaica, the Brew Lagoon. <laughs> Guys, I'm sure, maybe, 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 some of the Jamaicans don't even know there's, there is a place in their country. And maybe you can tell me where the Brew Lagoon is if you're watching a video and you're from Jamaica. Tell us where it is located, which parish is it in? So is it in St. Catherine? You're going to tell us. So the Blue Lagoon is a lagoon whereby you only go at night. <laughs> because at night, when you go to the Blue Lagoon and you jump in its water, the water turns to blue and it produces some, some microorganisms, which are harmless, by the way, that makes your skin to grow and guys let me tell you i cannot wait to enter jamaica and see the brew lagoon the minute you enter in that water the water turns to brew and your skin starts to grow because of this microorganism i saw the name of those microorganisms but I can't remember the name now. Maybe the people in the comment section can tell us what is the name of these microorganisms that make the skin to grow when you enter the Brew Lagoon. Remember that there is, actually it was being called what? Yeah, the Brew Lagoon. I'm sure it is the Brew Lagoon. Am it is the Luminous Lagoon? I don't know. You are going to tell us. There is also the Brew Mountain. And the Brew Mountain when you climb on top of it, Jamaica is actually a vibe. On top of the Blue Mountain, because I could see some YouTubers climbing to the top of Blue Mountain. And when they are on top of that Blue Mountain, you could see the island of Jamaica. I don't know whether that is true. You're going to confirm that, people. Because I could see, I could see the houses. I could see the many towns. As some of our YouTubers were on top of the Blue Mountain. So, you can see the waters of Jamaica. Remember, you said that Jamaica is the land of wooden water. Water and wood. Wooden water. <laughs> and therefore, at on top of the Blue Mountains, you can see the island of Jamaica clearly, the many beautiful houses, the many beautiful beaches. The many beautiful waterfalls, and actually as you go up the Blue Mountain, I could see some waterfalls somewhere along the way. I can't remember uh, where it is, but I saw some waterfalls. And I could see Jamaica is truly a vibe. From the people that stay in Jamaica, to the rad, to the radscape, to the everything. And not to mention that uh, in the Blue Mountain, is where we have the brew coffee, a very special coffee. I think I've said this many times. That is not found anywhere else. It's only in Jamaica. I shot a video talking about it's only in Jamaica. You'll find some things. Go and watch that video and see what is special about Jamaica. What is so unique about Jamaica? What is everything beautiful about this land we all love? And guys, I realized after all that, by the way, not forgetting so many other things that I have not mentioned. Because in my many videos that we have shot so far, I have talked about Jamaica so many times. So I was avoiding to say some of the things that I have mentioned about Jamaica. But there is a road to run. Actually, uh, I learned that the day Jamaicans were freed from slavery, there is a church they had gone to celebrate there and actually to thank the Almighty God for their freedom from slavery. So there is a, an old church. I think uh, it is in Kingston. They are going to tell us, the guys who are watching us. 
And from that church, they were supposed to walk along the way and come to the emancipation park and have the celebration of this great day when they attained their, uh, their freedom from slavery. I tell you guys, slavery was not easy. Like I have seen Daria, this was the day to actually celebrate, be happy, and uh, rejoice. Because the people who are slaves were not being given enough food, they were doing hard labor, they were being beaten, it was not easy. And therefore the Emancipation Day in Jamaica is a great day to remind them that God removed them from far, delivered them from far, delivered them from the heart of the oppressors to come to where they are. And today we are celebrating a great Jamaica. We are celebrating a wonderful Jamaica. We are celebrating a beautiful Jamaica. We are celebrating a Jamaica full of positive vibes. People who are happy, people who are joyous, people who are loving, people who are great. That is what we are celebrating because of the sacrifice of a few people who actually were ready to sacrifice that the Jamaican people may have the freedom they have today and celebrate their country in style. They celebrate their country in music. They celebrate their country by having Paris, eating the best of the foods in the whole world. Don't you agree with me? Jamaica is actually a vibe and not a country. If you believe in me, comment below and like the video. See you during the next video. Bye bye.